<laughs> you you shot him with the laugh gun. Well, welcome in. I um, I'm bleeding. You're, I'm bleeding. Welcome you're to. You're bleeding joy. You're welcome. I don't know how you surprise. I mean, how many of these have we done? I don't know how they surprise me. I really don't. Welcome, welcome in to the Fantasy Footballers show after the show. We're back again. Today, I wanted to bring up um, a story I tell a lot, actually. You know, people ask us. We're Arizona Cardinals fans. They used to be the Phoenix Cardinals. They used to play at um, in Tempe, Sun right? Devil at Stadium. Sun Devil Stadium, where for a long time in Arizona, the Sun Devils were really the sh only show in town for the community up here in Phoenix. Uh, and so this stadium has been there a long time. It's built into this mountain off the campus in, in Tempe. Not an NFL stadium. Uh, um, I feel has bad had for, a Super Bowl there. I feel bad for. Yeah, that's ridiculous, man. Well, College I mean, stadiums teams. were built a different way for a long time, too. It's, it wasn't a new stadium, but it was like, what, 1996 Super Bowl, 98, something like that. Chargers, Cowboys, I believe. And, or no, wait, we had the Steelers here. Yeah, it was the Steelers Cowboys, I believe. Neil O'Donnell. That, that stadium up. does not. I feel bad that uh, a college team here has to play there. So <laughs> no, genuinely. So people ask us about the Cardinals' history, and the, it's 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 just covered in losses and defeats and lack of a quarterback and being a team that had no money and ownership that never wanted to spend any money. See, the, the team had money. Okay, the ownership never wanted to spend the money. Yes. Cheap, cheap. Bill cheap Bidwell, team. cheap team. It's changed, right? We've got a new stadium, University of Phoenix Stadium. Kurt Warner took him to the Super Bowl. Ken Wisenhunt. Michael Bidwell is now the, the owner. Michael Bidwell realized, you know, having a football team that's good, it's a lot more fun. And you, you and probably you, make more money. And you make money, too. So people talk about, like, the first time you go to a game. Like, the first time you go to a stadium. We all have those childhood stories. I, I can remember the first time I went to, like, a Suns game. You know, Tom Chambers scored 60 points. I fell asleep in the back of the car. <laughs> You know, I was young. And I remember the first time I went to Sun Devil Stadium. And I really? wanted to bring the this up. The first time? The first time. Because I never went to I Cardinal remember, games. Uh, yep. I, I went the to the Sun thing. Devil games. Mine was a Cardinal game. And uh, first time I ever went. You know, you're a little kid. You're intimidated by all the people. You're not very tall. There's giants everywhere. There's giants everywhere. Then you yeah, you, you drink some, some you soda pop. So <laughs> As a kid, you get some treats. You and, get the cotton candies. And you got to go to the bathroom. And that's where we bring this show up to the show. Back to the bathroom, where we like to keep We it. always bring it back to the bathroom. We always bring back it back to, to the bathroom. bathroom. And I wanted to bring this up because I don't know if anybody out there has experienced this. Because I would actually feel like I might need a support group anyway. So if you out there have been through this, please let me know. Maybe there's stadiums around the world. Th there can't be other there places. There have to be others. No. no. Yeah, these, this, is, this is not a single occurrence. So this is I stumble into the bathroom as a young, small lad. And the bathrooms at old Sun Devil Stadium, I assume they've been renovated and do not I don't are know. not this way. I do not know. Apparently in the in the nineties, in the eighties. The the seventeen eighties. Well, there they're... could be there was a trough bathroom. Okay, I'm gonna say say it. it. There was a trough urinal. Well they, they looked it's back, not even a urinal. They it's looked a at trough. They looked at medieval England, they said, How did they do things? How do I simulate then? a hole that everybody circles around and pees into? <laughs> and what I'm saying here is this is a great example. We're, oh, this we're, is perfect. we're sitting there. <laughs> we can just this table might as well be right here. This is a this is a bathtub. Okay, imagine this is a bathtub, and now I'm on one side, and he's on There's the other. There's two sides. We're being straight into a bathtub. <laughs> we're staring each other in the eye, and you. The Super Bowl was there. <laughs> the Super Bowl was there. Oh my goodness! And I don't know if you know. Uh, this it, was normal. I remember when my parents were growing up. But I tell you what, it is an intimidating thing to whip whip it out in front of another gentleman straight across from you. It's not pleasant. I did not know w when I went in there. I was same same as you. I was a kid, and the first Do you time suddenly I went, not have to go. I had no idea where the toilets were, and then I went. Why is everybody peeing in the sink? Like it looked more like a place <laughs> where you would wash your hands oh. than where you would go to the bathroom. And no, I did not. I did not pee. I I held it. And I did not go to the restroom because I was I I felt like I'm not I don't belong here I'm not supposed to be here I saw something I shouldn't see speaking, that's how I felt as a speaking kid. to your point uh, I had 
a somewhat similar experience in the Metrodome. Wait, uh, they had a trough? Uh, I, I believe it was a trough, Whew. but it was also a – and that's an older stadium. I mean, it's it's gone now. Uh, rest in peace, Metrodome. <laughs> but the the bathrooms were, were uh, old. They were not large enough. And you have a, a, a large group of people. And I don't know if you understand this, uh, to, speaking to the, to the ladies, just how horrifying men are. But when you got to go – you got to go. And to Jason's point of peeing in the sink, there I I'm a child and there are people peeing into the sink. No. Yes. No. Because the bathroom is so overfull. No. And people, yes. Yes. Now you're making things up. I am not. There was animals at this, at this sport. People event. pee like. Yes. There was, I, I, have a, I have a very scarring memory of people urinating into the sink. What would I, you do today if you're an adult and you go, if we go into, you know, the, uh, the Cardinal I mean, Stadium is different. And there's times a guy peeing then. in the sink. I can confirm. I'm, I just I just opened up a a message board thread from January third, twenty ten. Hey guys, just got back from Tim P last night. I'd like to share a story with you. <laughs> there were troughs in the middle of the restroom with waist high dividers, but you could look right across into the eyes of the guy opposite you. So you have to look down to avoid weirdness. A couple of old guys across from me remarked that this is the first place I've been where I could look at the other guys while I go. Oh, wow. maybe it is the only place. So that. you, those are apparently a, I think what, a national landmark that have not been removed. Treasure, I Andy. believe the metronome just had the wall, the, the wall trough. So it was only the single side, single sided trough. Check and, this out. And, wait, wait, wait. bad enough. And sink urination. <laughs> no, the wall trough, right? Yes. They have that at Wrigley and they keep in it. They kept it at Wrigley. The wall trough. This is a whole new world. New <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Come on, people. Pea party. Pea. The pea party podcast. All right. We've lost it. Um, don't go to the trough Sunday problems. Old. Trough problems. That yeah. is, that's cruel and unusual punishment. It's uh, almost right. as bad as the metal bleachers they had in the sun <laughs> in Arizona. Goodbye, everybody. See you on to uh, Thursday. <laughs> <laughs>